All right, I'm back from Planet Coaster, and today, why is this still here? I'm pretty sure I got rid of that, unless I wasn't paying attention whenever I was doing the time lapse. Um, so two things. One, I'm going to be deleting this because it was just some silly idea that I was thinking of. See if it could work, but it's just going to be more trouble than it's worth, so I'm not going to fuck around with that. Uh, and two, there's, I don't know if I noticed this last uh, episode or if it wasn't in here last episode, but there's a section completely for stuff that you downloaded from the, uh, the workshop that is the custom, what is it called, 3D models. So if I didn't notice that last episode, I'm an idiot, and I'm, I'm sorry for that. Now, I did find a chair, and it's not a thousand pieces, so I'm very happy with that. Let's see. Let me just, uh, now it is a spooky chair that does move around, but I can disable it. I think that looks very okay for uh, what we're going to be doing here. So as long as I just stationary that, we're good. I think that looks great. Simple for what we're going for, and I can copy and paste it all the way around here whenever I get the final design up. Now, I'm aware this looks bland, and I will be changing this, don't worry. I will be putting things in between the seats, so it won't just be rows and rows of seats. Maybe like a souvenir thing in the corner where they go up and walk around like the actual people, and come back down. Maybe one in the middle here, something very small, just to break up the monotony of the uh, constant chairs going around, and obviously we have to color it in. Now I left this as an overhang on both sides, purely because I didn't want to push this wall in to fix that, and I figured I could make fake pillars that looks like it's holding it up, so, and we can extend the entrance, like this little bit, out a bit, and make it look fancy. Uh, when we get to that... Because currently the plan, I'd say, is on one side we have another staircase going down that's going to cut into this section. So we might have to make this three blocks wide, but still it's fine. So we have another staircase down that people can walk down, and there's a walkway coming out. Don't worry, I'll explain what this is in a second. But we <laughs> they walk out and get on the ride. Now, whenever they're done with the coaster, and since the coaster is going to be going through both the entrances of the arena, down at the bottom anyways, you will exit out one side and come up pretty much the same way you came in, just mirrored on the op opposite side of the uh, arena. So it forces them to have to walk around to get in and out of the place. So these most of the entrances will be used, hopefully, and that's why I'll be placing these stores around. Uh, I'll worry about deleting that later. What I'm probably going to focus on today, after I delete all these extra paths that I made, is uh, making the outline for the actual structure that we'll be looking at from the outside. And I don't think I'm going to be done with this in this one episode. We'll probably This will probably be spread out a, a, an episode or two more. Because I think I underestimated exactly how big of a project this is. Oh yeah, and here's the... That's a regular spooky chair, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't move. It looks too too proper. So that's why I chose the other chair. But this recolorable grass, I see that it is very useful whenever it's above ground. Or even right here. Whenever. Oh yeah, that's right, because it's, it's colored black for some reason. So if you change it to a green, it looks a lot better. I don't know what's happening with it right now. Uh... It's like freaking out. There we go. That was weird. I was wondering, I was like, this looks way different than whenever I tested this earlier. But this could work in certain little areas, uh, such as this or something. You know, just to fill in some gaps. Make it look a little more alive. That's all. Just wanted to find something like that. So we'll probably just delete this for now. But yeah, we'll be pl plotting that in, and little various parts of the map, changing the colors and such. Just as a little detail. Now this, we are going to edit this. Let me get my castle selection up. I do want a rounded edge for this, because I know it's pretty square. And I did that out of convenience sake, because it would be a pain in the ass to try to, to fix that. <laughs> if it wasn't. So that's laziness on my part. 
which is, uh, I'm going to take the blame for that if it turns out to be too generic. So I was thinking maybe here-ish? See, I don't know if I want the extra little bit. I might. I feel like this is not lined up with that whatsoever. There we go. You think I would know where those are at by now? My god. I'm just looking to see how this is going to pan out. Because if it looks like shit, then I'll just get rid of it. This is always a good test. I might do a bigger arch and a bigger entrance, and it's just going to shrink down into the little staircase at some point. So we'll leave that open. That is what, like a full block in some bit? Oh, jeez, that's not lined up. Well, don't worry about that one, but we have to deal with that. See that all the way around though, that's gonna be... I guess I could leave like little gaps open. All the way around so like you can see in it. But you can't like see down into it unless you're like up on a, a ride or something from a distance. That'd be pretty cool. Like up from here you'd be able to see right... Well not right down into it, but a decent amount. And then you'll have the coaster whenever you'll be... Okay, it's saving. Whenever you'll be uh, zipping around up here. So I think it'll work out. That we can always alter and fix so we don't have to deal with it. Okay, so each side with these blocks on it, not including the curved, is 13. So if we just duplicate this, we should be having a lot easier time. See, now that seems a lot closer. Which maybe I'm okay with that, honestly, because if you think about it, it's the entrance on the main entrance on the front and an exit on the back. The side is just like an extra thing, but mostly people are going to be going down the front and the back. And as long as I can get people to go walk around, around this, then it's a success. So let's just cut these over and delete them as we need them. Uh-oh. That's right. Let me try to line this up and hopefully make it the same. If it seems like I'm a bit unprepared for this today, that's because, well, I am. I wasn't planning on recording this, but I had some time left and I figured, you know what, why not? Let's give it a shot, and if it sucks, I'll just delete it. If it turns out okay, I'll keep it. So for now, I think this is basically what I wanted as a base anyways to go around, so I'm not too bothered. Let's just, I think that was where it was, wasn't it? And then this was right there. I think that's what it was. If not, well, whatever. This isn't in the way of anything, right? It'll just select those. Yeah. Okay. Let's select, like, this many. Alright. Please tell me you're gonna line up. Okay. I'm okay with that, honestly. What is up with the bat? Oh, that's just the lighting. Again, you can see why I didn't build this up above ground and then decide to sink it down below after a while because of the way this the height of this is going to be it's pretty large so now i was going to use where are the little where is that why can i never find anything in here you think i would know the one pointed arch or rounded arch Now I was going to do a like rows of these up in the air. Not up in the air. But they're going to be lined up to this, just going around. And then a big one for the entrance. Just all the way around. Like maybe five or six up in the air. And then have a little edge to it, similar to this. Just going around it. So I'm trying to keep it simple, trying to keep it in the theme. 
leaving spaces open for me to decorate with like banners and colors and flowers and stuff like that, especially on the outside. So let me try that. First, let me get this rounded edge out of the way because I'll have the most trouble finding that. Cause there's not there's not gonna be anything here anyway, so maybe besides a window and some uh, banners or something. Okay, so four or five of these. I'd say five of those looks decent. I think four might be just a tad too low. We'll see. And I'm not sure if I want to do the, the rounded arches each time. Or do I want to skip one? Because if even if I skip one... Alright, let's skip one each time. Do you, well, I mean, you do kind of line up there. That does work. I mean, even if it's not on the same thing but just bear with me for a second the only problem I think I'm gonna have the front's gonna be fine the corner is going to be a problem like right here because it's gonna go right into this and I kind of need that to, to not do that so I might slide that over one make the design on the side of the arena different than it is on the front and the back so that's fine with me let me design up let me start deleting things here. Nope, not that. That is not what I want to delete. Let's do it this way. Because I'm going to be lazy and copy and paste once I get one side done. I'm going to copy and paste the whole side over. <laughs> so. That's reasonable, don't you think? Right, where is this? Alright, let's slide you up. Get you on this. Hopefully you're on the same grid still. You can slide off it. So I'm going to delete one of these here because I think even having one here and then skipping one and starting it here is still going to have that problem. Plus it'll give me an even way to design up something on the wall here. And I think the fact that this is out further than this side is going to bite me in the ass later, but I'm not too against it still. I'm adding a two meter wall here because I realize whenever I hang the little uh, the overhang for the castle wall over this, it'll overlap that thing. And instead of me moving it down and fucking up uh, trying to line up the individual uh, pieces that I have to line up for the side of this, like I did with the entrance right there, and that's in the way kind of, but you get what I'm talking about. I would rather just do it like this. Oh yeah, I realize that that's kind of... Damn. <laughs> Son of a bitch, that's off. By one... Oh man, that's annoying. Is it fixable? <laughs> By moving it ever so slightly. Even if I rotate. Oh wait. Okay, it works like that. So all I gotta do is just re-click the other ones and flip them around. Nope, not duplicate, that's for sure. Okay, well, we'll do that Do that in a second. I'll worry about getting this done at the top here. Alright, we'll put this up right about here, and then... There we go. And let me find those castle overhangs. I believe this is one of them. Yeah, but that's for the corner. That's not even for the right corner. 
It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, okay. We'll just line that up with uh, everything else in a second. Put in this two minute wall here. I knew I got that wrong. It's always so hard for me to tell. There we go. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess this answers my question right here. Is this exactly what I'm looking for? No. Is this exactly what I'm looking for? No. Where is that at? I know I, I know there is one of them in here. Where did that go? Oh, here. Yeah. We'll find that in a second. Oh, it might be this, actually. Nope. Well, we'll find it in a second. I'm not trying to waste your time right now. I'm already struggling as it is to find the right stuff. Okay, here's a solution to this. Since there is a combination of these two whenever this wants to lift up, I will just replace these with the other ones. So, it, you know, seems pretty simple. Won't be able to notice it from the top anyways, but I think a little change in color will be fine. Although the roof, uh, I actually can't see in there, so that's fine. That's right, those are capped off, so... It's not a big deal. Oh, you don't line up with that anyways. Why is that? Select grid. It's because I had a different grid selected? Possibly. Okay. Again. My favorite part of the game is dealing with that issue, I swear, let me tell you. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, hey, if you're gonna copy and paste, why didn't you just copy and paste one pillar all the way over? Like, well, that's a good fucking question, because I just realized that I should've did that. I should've just did one of these fully, and then just copy and paste them over. No, not that. I would like to select this, please, thank you. I'm just gonna copy and paste these over, and hopefully uh, it works out in my lazy favor. Kind of see what I'm going for here. And I could actually add the, uh, the regular, this thing, that's like a freeform version of that. I can put that anywhere. I can put that at the bottom or something. So let's put the angle snap on. Oh, that's right, because this isn't... Oh, that's right. I wish there was an angle snap relative to the... building you're making, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Let me fuck with this real quick. I can angle snap this to make it perfectly straight up in the air, which is what I want. Did I want this? Do I want this here as an extra bit? I think it would actually add to that. On both sides. So I have to I have to go do that. <laughs> have any other great ideas you want to think of?
Now I know they're not perfectly straight in here, but I'm trying to, to manage it as best as I can. So, like this one I realize I gotta fix. And maybe that one too, just ever so slightly. I turn it. Okay, I'm gonna make a suggestion and I hope it's not in the game so I don't look like an idiot. I wish you could see the degree of angles whenever you're turning this. I'm just trying to guess. Kind of like how uh, City Skylines did it after a while. I, I believe because the people made a workshop tool that showed you the angle of the roads you were making, like the degrees, and then they were like, hey, that's a great idea. Let's be a good developer and just put it in the game anyways for you so you don't have to download that. Or their own version of it, I believe. Which, you know, that's great. So... Now that I've made this, I'm wondering to myself, can I just copy and paste this on the other side? I believe that's everything. Uh, minus this. And minus this. Just for now. Duplicates. Okay, yes, but you're gonna be this way. So I don't believe that matters. Whatsoever. Or does it? I don't think so. It's always hard to tell when this stuff is highlighted, so that's fine. Okay. So we're on to something, at least. And then I would just, uh, probably... Just play, maybe... Just try to get this stuff here. Something like that. I'll add this and this and this, because I believe I left these out. And also that wall? No, that's there. Duplicate that. Either way. Better than what it was, because I kind of want that anyway, so. Just select this up. Just copy and paste that over. Imagine if I never used that copy and paste tool. How long would we sit here? I do have to add the corner things, which I forgot, as usual. My slow ass memory. Where is that? <laughs> I just. I suck at this. Oh, don't tell me you're not gonna line up. What is your reasoning for this? Explain yourself. Is it because of this? Or, I mean, this? Ah, uh, yes, there we go. Okay, you were just off because of some annoying world problem. Alright, there we go. So, once I get this middle part in, I can actually just copy and paste this whole thing over on the other side. And then I'll probably do... This side in the time lapse, copy and paste it over. And tidy that up on the outside. As for decoration, that might be safe for another episode because of how long this takes just to do this. Now, here's where I don't know what I want. Because I might copy and paste this over, but ever so slightly. But the problem is, uh, whenever you build up vertically, you know, there's not skinny versions of the walls, so it's, you have to deal with the 4x4s four that they give you. So even if I added an extra one... I mean, I could slightly curve it. But I want, like, a bigger entrance, though. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, that is... A, I did put that on the inside. Oh, no, I didn't. That's because that's... Yeah. I might be okay with that on the inside as well. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put that. Fuck, I don't know what I, I don't know what I want what I want here. I could speak English. Okay, I'm looking at this for some sort of idea. Since that's three blocks of space, what I might do is get rid of these, make them regular walls, and then add in the uh, something similar to this that I did around here. That might work. I think that would be a better option. 
So let's try that. Because I don't see any other way for this to work. Actually, I don't know if I want to get rid of those walls. I would love to select this right in front of me. Right here. Come on. Come on. I'm practically inside the- there we go. Oh wait, no, that's a five section thing. Fuck it. Maybe I can select it from under it. Oh god. I swear. The little- <laughs> the tiny little things that don't work on this game from time to time are so infuriating because of the amount of work you have to do just to build something. At least in my opinion. Alright. So... Why do you do that? Why? Just don't do that. I guess I could just add one in on this side. Okay, I kind of meant, like, duplicate, but I didn't press it properly. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, perfect, yeah. That's exactly what I want. Come on, go in. There you go. Okay, see, that's fine. I can work with that, because then I can put, like, a banner there as well. So... Now it's time to try to make this work again. Which this should be... Tons of fun, let me tell you. Yeah, that going up there, crossing... Let me, let me actually make this. Uh-oh. Come on. We'll start with this shit. Game. Select grid. This grid. Sure, just go across. Whatever. Lift up, please. Thank you. Well, that went a little, uh, could have went better, <laughs> but I got it done. So, just ankle snap that so I can flip it over and just try to wedge it in here and should be good. Oh, I also have to put the block under this like I did before. Damn, I forgot about that. Okay, let's just lower that ever so slightly. It's very hard to tell when it's perfectly lined up, which it definitely isn't. That's about as close as I think I'm going to get it. Push you over here. Let me guess, this lines up perfectly because it's the, uh, the back side of it, and that's what I should have used anyways. I mean, that looks fine. From a distance, you don't really notice the tiny little slight offness of it, so I'm not really too worried. Uh, do I want... No, I want this out of here. Yes. Wow, it actually selected it for once. I'm fucking shocked. Alright. So I think that seems fine. Now, I'm wondering if from a distance I want to add in these. Uh, all throughout the the openings. I think that would add something to it, hopefully. But what I'm going to try to do is, why is there a gap here?
just here we go again with this. All right, let's turn this down. Duplicate. Just mesh in. I don't care if it looks bad from a distance, you'll never see it. So now the fun part is we're gonna try to duplicate this before I leave today. Let's see if I can do this properly. It's oh it's gonna probably select the things underground too, isn't it? 711. Did I select anything down here? No, it didn't. Oh yeah, that's not far enough. Okay. Let's hope that this works whenever you rotate it. <laughs> it does. My god. Look at that. It looks completely off. That does not look right. I think I've, I've miscalculated. Okay, let's move that. Okay, that looks better. That looks like it lined up. Alright. I can't believe it. Something like that worked. So I can actually go and delete the extra one that's sitting here all the way around. So. Oh, there we go. Okay. I always get scared whenever that happens. So, we have accomplished a decent amount today. I am proud of myself. <laughs> we are going to continue this in the time lapse where I decorate the side... Well, I try to figure out some side wall design and hope that it all turns out okay. I think it should. I don't really see too much of a problem trying to line up the side walls, but also I realized if I was going to add the stuff in the middle of those, I should have done it before I copied and pasted it over, but fuck it. Who cares? You can always do it off camera. So yeah, let's take a look at scale. Once ever I can get out of this building and not select this, thank you. Alright, from the ground. Yeah. See, that's that's great from my uh, from my imagination to what I've made in the game. Because I get the sense of scale, but I don't get a sense of scale of it being way too large to where I have to pump the seats up, you know, like, out of the ground. So at least when it's sunken in, you feel like you're actually in something. But not too high that it overshadows everything else in the park, you know what I mean? Like, yes, it's going to be a huge part. And that's why we're making it a, a coaster. And I'm undecided on whether I want the coaster to actually swing over into the big castle. But I also want people to go into the castle that we're going to be putting here. So I need to have an extra ride throughout there. Because I figured it'd be okay to have this as a coaster. But the castle probably won't be big enough to have its own coaster, if that makes sense. Or at least I won't be able to design it in such a way for me to be able to make a proper coaster ride out of it. It would be like the smallest coaster ever. Unless I make a completely different ride inside the castle. That's possible. Oh yeah, that were, ooh, that's... I just realized... I'm going to have to get rid of all this grass in here, and I don't know if the pathways are going to line up. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, we'll worry about that in a time lapse. Till next time.